We're celebrating the release of Ozzy Osbourne's brand new box set, See You on the Other Side. It's out there now. You can order it. You can pick it up. It is crazy. Uh, 173 songs, uh, 24 vinyl box set. There's 10 posters inside, augmented reality stuff. If you download an app, it's crazy. And we're hanging out over here with a uh, host of Ozzy Speaks and a uh, guitar player extraordinaire and artist himself, Billy Morrison. What's going on, brother? Uh, it's all good. And uh, we're here with about Ozzy. Art? How yeah. did you art show? Good, did you, it went. It went amazing. It went amazing. I'm I had a sorry good I couldn't make it, but I was. Uh, Ozzy, up. don't even worry. You've shown up every other time, and I get it. Listen, this thing, right? <clears throat> 173 songs and 10 posters. What well, of you? <laughs> did you know you'd written 173 songs? No. It's crazy. That's a lot of... Well, problems. I haven't written on it. I co-wrote them, you know. It's, uh... Right, but you've released 173 songs. From yeah, Blizzard yeah. of Oz to Scream. And how many albums? 16. <laughs> how is Am that? I that Ozzy, old? when you when you think about that, is it hard you, to get you, your head around? You know around? what? My son said to me, he says, Dad, why are you always so, you know, content with what, what you've achieved? But if I go, well, I've done 173 songs, I can't take it all. Well, I'm going to say this to you. I think if you were the if you were the kind of person that was content, you wouldn't have released 16 albums and 170. Yeah, you, because yeah. it's your drive that keeps you producing more work, more great work, and 16 albums so far. Yeah, but it's kind of like you know, it's, it's like if I, I, I I've, I've, I've said I've no, I haven't released. What I consider my Sergeant Pepper. Great. My, yeah. You know, my ultimate. Piece de resistance or whatever it is. So, and, and, and when people say, which is my favorite album, I go, I haven't made it yet. Do you listen to them? Oh, yeah. So you listen to your own records. It, and how do you listen to them? Just as a song or are you picking it apart? No, I, I listen to them and I go, oh, I remember when we, where we were when we wrote that. It was good, bad, right. sad, glad. Do you listen to stuff and go, I wish I'd done that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and every album I go, <laughs> Why the fuck didn't I fix yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. If I leave something forever and I go, shit, I should have Because in the middle of it, you're tired. It's like months of work and you're like, you I know mean, what? It That's haunts fine. me. That, yeah. yeah. I mean, the good competition was which, which songs are the haunting ones? <laughs> All of them. Uh, S.A.T.O. was one. I always remember that. I was in the studio and, I, and Sharon wanted to go somewhere and I went, that'll do. And I, I, in the back of my mind, I, I knew I let someone go. And and once it's out, it's out. But you know what? The amount of people that come to me and go, why don't you ever play that live? Of course. Or or they'll say, that's my favourite song or yes. whatever, and it's the one that's got this little thing in there that you didn't It's, the, it's the only I know. It's Absolutely. Like,